Today is International Overdose Awareness Day, designed to not only increase the public's knowledge about overdoses and addiction in general, but also to remember those who have died. Rallies have been happening all across the country and the globe today. Here locally in Rochester, the grassroots organization Vocal New York is beginning its event in just about an hour. News 8's Isabel Garcia joins us live from Liberty Pole with more details. Isabel. Yes, good evening to both of you. And another component of International Overdose Awareness Day is also to help end the stigma about overdoses and drug use altogether. Now, this rally is actually just getting underway right now. It's set to begin at 5.30, so just moments now. We're seeing a couple people gathered over at Liberty Pole. And that's also ge geared uh, for these rallies happening across the globe today to push lawmakers to enact changes to create uh, safe consumption sites as well. Now, other goals for the day include providing an opportunity for people to publicly mourn loved ones. This in a safe environment free of guilt or shame. Overdoses have seen sharp increases through the pandemic years, we know. Rochester Police Lieutenant Greg Bello tells me this year to date, Monroe County has seen 93 fatal overdoses. 93 community members who have died this year due to an overdose. This time last year, there were 91 fatalities, so we're about on par compared to last year. And the county is seeing some improvements with overdoses in general, down about 60 from this time last year. But we're still at about 400 overdoses in Monroe County in 2022. Lieutenant Bellow also says they often see the typical drugs during these types of calls, like heroin and fentanyl. But there are other kinds of ODs, such as alcohol and prescriptions. There's also typically several agencies responding to these calls, primarily ambulances. Leaders with Brighton Volunteer Ambulance offer some insight into just how vast overdoses can be in a community. It's everyone because it's so available and widely available and overprescribed previously that it just doesn't matter. It breaks all borders, all demographics, all socioeconomic statuses. The situation, I think, that it's kind of myopic when people think that this is a socioeconomic thing, or, you know, a certain uh, income status person is a victim of this. It really goes across the whole social economic spectrum. And this rally taking place behind me again, urging lawmakers to create safe consumption spaces. And also an interesting little personal note, you know, this really does hit home for me, this International Overdose Awareness Day. My mother actually passed away in 2019 due to an accidental overdose. And so shout out to all the people who are going through this with their loved ones and maybe experiencing an overdose. And there is help out there. We will continue to follow this and we'll have more from the rally coming up tonight at 11. For now, we'll send it back to you in the studio reporting live in Rochester. Chester, Isabel Garcia, News 8. Isabel, thank you. A lot of courage sharing that. My condolences. Now, just last month, Monroe County Executive Adam Bello announced the launch of a 24-hour opioid hotline along with expanding access to naloxone, which can reverse the effects of an overdose and often save a life. Free doses of naloxone can be found at 50 designated sites across the city for the public to use.